Hello! Today I'd like to show you how to use a current clamp meter. We will use the popular UNI-T UT202A and the UNI-T UT203 models to demonstrate. First, let's talk about what a clamp meter actually is. A clamp meter is a meter device capable of measuring current without direct contact to that current. This is one of the main advantages of a clamp meter compared to traditional amp meters and multimeters. You don't need to break the circuit to conduct measurements. You can actually conduct measurements of the line under voltage as well as measuring high currents. Operational safety is one more advantage. You are able to measure the current of an insulated conductor. Measuring current with these meters is really simple. You just switch to the required measuring range of current, in our case it's 600 amps, press the trigger to open up the clamp's jaws, and place the conductor you want to test inside and close the clamp. The display then shows the measurement results. The main element of a clamp meter is the current sensor. There are two types of sensors used. One type is a current transformer, and the other is a Hall sensor. Depending on the sensor used, the meter may measure either alternating current or direct and alternating current. Here we have a clamp meter with a current transformer. In this meter, inside the plastic housing here, there is a magnetic core. If you open up the clamp, you can see part of it. The conductor that measures the current acts as the primary winding, and the secondary winding is inside the plastic housing. We aren't able to see that. The main advantage of this type of design is having a low price and simplicity. The drawback is that it's a transformer, so you can only measure alternating currents. The other type of design of clamp meters instead has a Hall sensor. There is no magnetic core, and if you open up the clamp's jaws, you can see that. The advantage is that the Hall sensor can detect both alternating and direct currents. However, the disadvantage is its higher price. So, let's start with some alternating current measurements. The main thing you need to remember for measuring current is that you have to clamp exactly the conductor that you want to measure, like this. So if we clamp both sides at a time, or the whole cable, we will get a zero result because the meter only detects the difference between the currents. Because both of these conductors carry the same current, the difference will be zero. So if you have a cable consisting of several wires and you need to measure each of them, you don't need to strip anything like we have here. You just need to find a place where the cable is divided into separate wires, for example somewhere in the electric cabinet, and then start measuring. The second most important thing to remember when measuring current is setting the correct measurement range. If you are not sure about what current range to use, you have to start with the maximum. Let's demonstrate this. Right now, I'm going to measure the current used to power this electric tea kettle. Let's assume that I don't know what current is being used, but it has to be lower than 600 amps. I turn the kettle on and switch the meter to alternating current with a 600 amps range. Now I'll put the clamp on the wire. The kettle uses some current, about seven amps. Let's switch to a lower range, 200 amps we get 7.6 amps. To measure the current with the best accuracy possible, I'll switch to the 20 amp range. The meter shows 7.73 amps. If I clamp both wires, I'll get something around zero. You have to follow the rule of only clamping one conductor. Now, let's take the meter with a Hall sensor. The measurement procedure is very similar one difference, though, is that you have to set the readings to zero before starting a new measurement, because the Hall sensor is magnetically sensitive. So, first, I zero the display readings, and then measure. We get a current of slightly less than 8 amps. Now I will use the UT203 clamp meter to measure current under real-time conditions in a three-phase circuit. First, we turn the rotary switch to the current measuring position, and then switch to alternating current measurements. Let's start with phase A, 47 amps. We can press the hold button to store the result. Now the second conductor, 27 amps. And the third conductor, 46 amps. And now I'll demonstrate some direct current measurements. 
We have a power supply unit providing 3 amps of current in this circuit. First we'll switch the meter to the 40 amp range. Because the hall sensor is very sensitive, we need to zero the display readings. And now we can measure the conductor. It shows 3.15 amps. The absolute accuracy is about 150 to 170 milliamps, but that is not much taking into account that our measuring range is 40 amps. A current transformer clamp meter cannot measure this current at all. These two models, like most modern clamp meters, in addition to current, are capable of measuring voltage and resistance, and they have a continuity buzzer and diode test functions. They are fully functional multimeters with a non-contact current measurement function. I also recommend that you watch the video, How to Use a Multimeter, where you can find a detailed explanation of all of these functions. In this review, we answered the main questions that come up when using a digital clamp meter. Thank you for watching and have a great day!